What's going on guys? We're playing Restaurant Empire. <laughs> I decided to find a new game to play because... Just a I few more flips game. of the pan and these muscles will turn out superb. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? Hang on a sec while I finish oh reading my, my great banquet. But please join me in my preparation. Mussels go great with just a bit of butter and a zest of lemon. You know, ever since I was a kid helping my uncle out in his restaurant, I wanted to follow in my family's footsteps to be a chef. But not just any chef. I wanted to be the best there ever was. Uh, what? It took a lot of effort to perfect no, my skills <laughs> and a lot more time to build my empire. It's not the destination, but the journey that counts. My journey started after graduation, when I went to see Uncle. Oh my god. My foot's falling asleep. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna play this. I lost the use of my leg. Okay. Good to see you, Uncle. Indeed, it's been over four years. How have you been, Uncle? Fine, fine. Good to see you again. What? That's my uncle. Okay. How's your restaurant doing? I'm so anxious to open my own restaurant. Um... LaBeouf. <laughs> Herman LaBeouf. Alright. What? Tu as a table? I closed that restaurant down a few months ago after you left. <laughs> you closed down tu as a table? Why, uncle? <laughs> and how much did you sell the restaurant for? Never mind. Let's see that. Do not want to. I did not want to be absorbed by Omni Food. The clients were dwindling. I developed a nasty prostate condition. Ill. Too much information. I needed to close it down. And how much did you sell the restaurant for? Sell the family relic? No way. I still own the restaurant. It's not operating. <laughs> so. What are you going to do with the restaurant? Why don't you open the restaurant again? Never mind. Mm. So what are you going to do with the restaurant? I don't know. I have been thinking. And I will not sell it. But it's really not doing anything productive anyways. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Why don't we both run the restaurant? Fuck that. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you let me run the restaurant as I graduated with honors? And I'm going to take all the credit. <laughs> I don't know, Armand. I trust you do your best. But I don't see how, with your inexperience, you won't be absorbed by Omni Food. Most of my friends have gone that path with more experience than you in the business. Oh, you... Fucking bitch. But if you manage to get to the tablet up and running again and get so much it says you can have revenue, I might reconsider. Oh my god. He's got like no ass. <laughs> He's got like all ass. <laughs> you mean you give me the restaurant if I get it up and running? Sure. Good then, a figure. Uncle Michel has over the keys to his restaurant to the table. Now get to the table back into shape and make me proud. Through the tutorials, you will familiarize yourself with the basic aspects of running your very own restaurant empire. 
It is, you can also hold your okay. left mouse button on the tutorial window and drag the tutorial box anywhere on the screen. How Since this I... is your first, you are currently in this. You can also look at the city. To well, next is the pro Now let's go into your this. restaurant. The area indicated by the arrows is the restaurant indicator. Once you start, this is the interior view of your restaurant. If you ever want to leave the restaurant, left click on the leave. You can also double click on any restaurant that you own. To if you are ever doubtful about a button's function, simply mouse over the button. Your customers like to look at interesting objects while eating. Decoration adds ambiance to the dot. You can see four large buttons. There are wall mounted, floor mounted, and tabletop mounted subcategories. For now, let's focus on wall mounted yeah, items. Purchase. The button is already highlighted in yellow. Yeah. Left click on the next button when right. you're ready for the next step. Okay. Oh, let's look at this. Uh, I think we're out of money. Booge. Um, I want to put it on our table. Can I not? All decoration okay, items have at so least one attribute, and at most two. Some increase a restaurant's comfort Where's rating, while others may increase the decoration rating of your options. restaurant. These are indicated by the Skip corresponding... Tutorial. Get out of there. Okay. So now, um, I can focus on this video. <laughs> um, so I want to... No, I don't want to do anything with that. I need to add a table. Ooh, actually, dishwashing units. Let's add that. Yeah, okay. A washing, a waiting station. A waiting station. Okay, um, does this rotate? Ugh, it doesn't rotate. So, dishwashing machine. Oh, wait. Take that out. Use the machine. It takes up less space. Um, let's put it right here. Okay, so I want another one. I got like freaking $46,000, so why not? <laughs> Waiting station, indoor grill, a microwave. I don't really have much space for all of that. And a microwave is probably gonna be gross. <laughs> uh, dumb waiter. Between floors, okay, I only have one. Wait, no, I don't. I got two floors. Okay, so put the dumb reader right over here. No. God, I wish I could freaking turn. Let me just figure this out how to turn because it, do it doesn't tell you how to turn the. Let's just left and right. I was thinking I was like the same. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, now, now I can see what I'm doing. Uh, there's already a dishwasher here. I want to get rid of that. Come on. Okay. And then I want to put a dumb waiter right here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, um, and now, four burner stove, I have that, ew, it looks like it's, it looks like it's like a backwards or something, what, oh, okay, it's good, it's good, I got a tiny kitchen, and freaking tiny bathrooms like why <laughs> why is there a door on it and then there's a door to it but there's single toilets like 
how much sense does that make? Okay, so I certainly hope this is recording. If it fucking suck if it's not. <laughs> I'd be pissed. Like all of my audio um oh. All of my audio and my videos they like they seem to not sync up and I can't figure out what is going on. So I want to add another table. Can I? Okay. This is just like the walls. Like, I mean, the walls are ugly, but I'm not going to be looking at the walls. Kitchen floor. Yeah, you kind of got an ugly floor. Let's do that color. Okay. I can't sorry for the noise <laughs> um, function is disabled for the current scenario so what uh, play in Oh yeah, adventure mode is how we open it. So, um, I had to do my menu. The fuck. It. Okay, so I would go to adventure mode, right? And then no. Oh my leg. My leg, my leg, my leg. It's asleep. Um, it seems like you. God. It seems like. figure out like because it seems like you have to go through the tutorial in order to do anything because adventure mode is going back home so maybe that's what we do let's do that let's go back home Listen to that music. I see you know your way around that man. Now I'm going to explain about setting up your menu with tasty recipes. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Good. Let's get going then, shall we? But uncle, tell me what happened in these four years. Sure, uncle. Show me how to entice customers with a well-planned menu. Well done, Armand. Now that you know how to decorate your restaurant, let's see what you'll serve your customers. This is a food establishment after all. Left click on the food menu I don't button. Want to listen to you. Get out of my life. Okay. So now we get to start to our menu. I want to change the vent. I don't it won't let me. Oh my god, this font is so ugly. Oh, let's leave it at that. Colors. Um, ooh, it's not pizza parlor. It's a freaking nice restaurant. It's a nice French restaurant. Um. do that um is that like the menu text I don't have shit on my menu 
let's get some back on my menu. Um, mineral water. Oh, come on. I can't click it. Beer. Uh, no. Let's see. Iced coffee, iced tea, no. Um, I'm gonna do red wine, soft drink, ew, white wine, tea, and of course coffee. And we're gonna make it like Starbucks prices, like for real. Jack that shit up. How do I? Okay, well. Yes, I wanna get a liquor license. So, let's see. Um. <sighs> okay, I got all my drinks. And now I gotta put my food. What the fuck is this? It looks like cornflakes. Dried bean casserole. Gross. French bacon and goose confit. <sighs> Default price eighteen dollars. Ugh. I guess whatever. Um, I forgot I had to. Bacon, two slices of bacon, 125 grams of bean olive oil. Okay, so let's put it. No? Nothing? The oh, but. What did I just do? Um. What? It won't. There it goes. Okay. Um, baked eggs with cheese. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so apparently it's not like cream drop biscuits. It looks like a plate full of shit. No. <laughs> Oh my god, those are my two choices for my desserts. Like, oh, breakfast. Alright, well, somebody will order it. <laughs> Fried duck liver with asparagus tips. None of this is appealing to me, by the way. <laughs> oh, those of you who know, I am a vegetarian. Poached salmon with truffles and shrimp. We'll add that. I still got like 19 grand, so. Fried duck liver with asparagus tips. We already have that on the fucking menu. What are you doing? This is appetizers. Cream of asparagus soup. Okay. Cream of red bell pepper soup. Doesn't have very much to choose from. Did I add that? I did. Okay. Eggplant, zucchini, red pepper, and parmesan today. Um, how do I raise the price? Mixed casserole of pork. <laughs> Steamed mussels. Let's put a little bit more olive oil in it if I can but okay I can't increase that so I can't increase the salt and I can't increase the water okay so let's go to dessert chocolate tart yes yes chocolate tart yes okay so I can't apparently like if it's already got the stars, you can't make it any better. <laughs> French apple tart. This juicy apple. Thin juicy apple slices arranged over a 
filling a freshly made applesauce and glaze with apricot preserves. Yummy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Strawberries Jubilee, rekindling the flames of flambing. This dramatic dish uses famed Bavarian strawberries set aflame. Why would you set the fucking strawberries on fire? Oh my god. Try to kill somebody. Oh, is that ice cream? Oh my god, this looks delicious. <laughs> I want it some right now. I'm gonna add that to my menu. And I don't think there's anything else. No, there's not. So let me check through my food and make sure my quality is like up there because I don't want no bullshit. Okay, so, so you can't, you can't like change these items. Okay, so, yeah, we got good quality, so, we're going to get out of there, um, we got our menu done, recipe, these pictures, oh my god, so, apparently I can up the, oh, fuck, what? It's some stuff that's not on the menu. I still missed things. I wanted everything on my menu. As you like lose points if you don't have a, a variety. Um, oh, pull up the menu. Baked eggs with cheese. That shit's gonna be six bucks. Cream of drop biscuits. Um, poached salmon with truffles. $20. Fried duck liver with asparagus tips. We'll make that $19. A shine, a sure. Um, what? I don't have enough chefs. Oh god, I gotta hire people too. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, so. I cannot remember how to hire people. Uh, seat occupancy, overall rating. Okay, so I got my menu done, but now, um, what the fuck is this music? What, why did music just start? What is this freaky music? It's freaking porn music. What is happening? Is something going on right now? Somebody like breaking in my restaurant because I got expensive food. Okay, go to adventure mode. Go back home and your creepy uncle's gonna tell you how to open the restaurant. Good going. You really picking up pace here. Yeah. I have one last thing to show you before you're really prepared to take on the duties of restaurant chile. And that would be employing stiff. Uncle, can I ask you some questions? Sure, man. Tell me what's on your mind. Hey, Uncle, anything exciting happen here? Yeah, anything exciting happen here, you freaking perv? So... What have all your chef buddies wound up doing? What? What are you doing now, Uncle? I mean, with living expenses and all. 
What are Omni Foods restaurants like? Do they serve good food or are they cheap? Shelby had to hire employees now. I made enough money to retire. You know, you can make loads of money in this business. You just have to have patience to heart and some very nice ingredients to make very good recipes. This business is all about the red food with the red ambiance. Some chefs still manage to, to thrive in this business, but they all have small operations compared to other foods. Other spark is cheap. It really varies from the establishment to establishment. They cater to everyone through their franchise restaurants. I suppose that's how they have cornered the market. But I would say overall, they are good and cheap. Good and cheap don't fit in the same sentence when it comes to food. <laughs> don't you read the papers? I never have the time. You do watch TV at least, right? I don't watch TV, I don't like it. Such a liar. But you are aware of the cooking contest. Yes. Well, we have a new grandmaster chef, long young phenom. They say Pedro Val Rones his name. You know the son of the man behind Omni Food, Edmund Valron. You're kidding, right? He's a new grandmaster as well, just like his father. Yes, that boy's got talent and nerve. That little SOB running us, running all us honest working chefs out of our own businesses. That villain, he's just like his father. Some have been forced into early retirement. Some are working on their only food after being absorbed. But a few hard headed, I mean, intrepid chefs are still sticking to the fight. Um, yeah. <laughs> Show me how to em- hire and place. You have added yeah. decoration and placed recipes on the menu. But who's going to take the orders? Who's going to prepare the recipes? Who's going to make sure the customers pay up? No man is an island. If you ever think about expanding and opening more restaurants, apart from your name, the staff... Notice how the interface now displays quite a bit of... In- Any restaurant needs at least a chef to prepare the recipes, a captain for taking orders, a server to, well, serve the food, and a receptionist to show the customers to their seats. I need oh, someone who and knows I almost forgot. You doing. need to hire a kitchen porter to wash the dishes. Go ahead and hire all these posts. Wait. No need to hire a chef when you've got your Shane trusting self Lambert. to work the kitchen. Once you are done hiring, well, left click like on the next the button to continue. Doing. Let's see. I'm gonna shop but size myself. Can I hire another chef? Wait, oh, chef panel. What? Okay, so. How do I. I need another chef. How do I. A captain? Did I, didn't I already do that? Yeah, I did that already. So, hire staff, server, Hugo, Mercier. Okay. I already have a feeling I'm gonna be firing people. Lucille, okay. A receptionist, Esmina. And um, don't need two captains. I need another server. Um, this person, Hetty. Hetty. Hetty's a fucked up name to have. Sorry if that's your name. <laughs> a kitchen porter? Did I hire a kitchen porter? I can't remember. I do not remember. Uh, let's just hire another ring just in case. A word on receptionists. And now, they can only carry out their duties effectively if they have a reception desk handy. 
you can find a reception desk in the interior panel under restaurant lighting and facilities. You remember how to place items yeah, to equip and decorate your restaurant, yes. right? This is also the ideal oh God, time to explain away. to you how to rotate, move, and delete items. Notice the two round buttons near the end of the interior okay, interface? I don't need to know all that. They are know, the know, Adjust Items and Delete Items buttons. If you want to adjust an item, simply left-click on the Adjust Items button. You will notice that the cursor changes to reflect this. Then, left-click on the item you want to adjust and move it to where you want it to reside. If you want to rotate an item, left-click and hold down the mouse button while you rotate the mouse you will see the item rotate as well. Left click on the next button to continue. Okay, so. Oh fuck, my tables are ugly. Oh my God. <laughs> One, two, oh get rid of it. I can't get rid of these ugly tables. Oh my god. <sighs> Do I have to select the kind of tables and then remove them? Oh, well, I can't. Apparently, you can't delete your tables. How do I... How do I change the tables? I want these tables or something. Oh no, that's ugly. I want like nice restaurant tables like this one. I guess, I don't, ew. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, we need like, fuck. All right, well, I already did that. Oh my god, it's gonna make me do it, like, whether I like it or not. <laughs> Come on, I did it. Oh my god, would you chill out? I did it already. Oh. To delete an item, okay. left click on the delete item button. Then double click on the item you want to remove from your restaurant's premises. Left click on the next button there. to continue. Oh. I want to, okay, minimize that. I want to get this stuff, these ugly fucking tables out of here. Okay. So now I can get tables. Well, actually, the floor is ugly too. Floor mounted decoration. Uh, we could put a little desk over here. Uh, right in the middle. Okay. And then we can put this little divider here. Oh, well, oh okay. Um, Center table here. Uh, can't you put like what about benches for the people that are waiting? Um, a bookshelf. Sure. It doesn't fucking like, match anything, but sure. Let's throw in a bookshelf and a clock somewhere like right here. Okay. And a little wine cellar thing or wine rack. Um, fuck, my restaurant's so small. I was gonna put it in a wine rack, but I guess I'm not. <laughs> oh, there's rugs, Empire style carpet. Ooh. Let's see. Do... No. 
You can put like a plant. <laughs> so like we're just picking out the jungle or something. And what else? Ooh, there's a fireplace. Yes. Yes. And I'll put a little rug there too. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I need a table. This one. Okay, so turn around and put this table here. Do another table right here. Oh, I need to get rid of this shit. Because I couldn't find like a seating bench and it's too tall. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of that because that's ugly. This <laughs> doesn't match. And that doesn't go. Okay. So, wait a minute. Ooh, I like these better. Let's scratch that. Put this. Turn it around, actually. Okay. tables for this area back here. Well, oh my God, why can I not put anything here? There's plenty of room. Oh my God. Okay, so it doesn't like my partition. Put them back later. Okay, so there. Um, excuse me. My restaurant is way too small. Um, let's get my little tables. Now, get out of this. Good. Now let's go back to the staff panel and let's start with the list mode button. Notice the two small icons to the right of each employee position. Now you're back in the detailed view. Mm -hmm. Most of the buttons are now available. You should already be familiar with the first two buttons. The other buttons are raise or lower salary, transfer staff, and fire staff. These buttons are relatively easy to understand. I'll let you play with the good going. You are just about ready to start taking orders in your... Now, just be patient and customers are bound to come in. If you are impatient, you can always accelerate the game's speed by left-clicking on one of the four speed bars to increase or decrease the game speed. Go ahead, try it now. When you are done experimenting with the speed settings, Left click on the next button. The round button to the left of the speed buttons is the pause resume game. There's something you should know about the speed. Now I'd like to explain to you about the information sent. Looking at the column of buttons, now take a look at the top row of buttons. There are from left to right, the restaurant ratings, sales report, statistics, income statements, 
financial graphs, and complaints buttons. Click on each one and familiarize yourself. Now go back to the rest. Pay special attention to when you're ready to move on. Let As you can see, the top row of buttons. Wow, all this restaurant managing has got me really hungry, Armand. Okay, so let's see what this game is all about. Uh, customer complaints. Hugo, what you saying? Having breakfast. Waiting for big text with cheese. He's been in here for 19 minutes. He spent $8.29 and he has a 49% budget. No, $114 budget. Oh my god. His quality expectation is two stars. And he is almost 50% satisfied with the food. Um, and he ordered a tea. An asparagus and cheese omelet. It's his favorite food. Server, humorous, humorous here is impolite. It takes time for the food to arrive. I'm hungry. Oh, fuck. We need another cut, don't we? Let me do that. Um, higher. What the hell is that? Well, shit. How do I get another chef? I can't, chef, captain, Hugo Mercier is about to get fired. Hugo Muller, how are there two Hugos in here? Oh my god, so he's the only customer in here? Alright, here we go, here we go. Ooh, hey. Hey, girl. Alright, so let's see. Oh, shit, she, she left! What happened? Consumer alert. Food quality leaves much to be desired. Son of a bitch! Customers left your restaurant without eating. The quality of food offered up is not up to the customer's expectation. Either raise your food quality or lower your prices. <laughs> oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. So, I did... My food is the best quality. It's three stars on everything. man I only have one chef how do I get two maintenance cost There's people leaving. Seared mariner marinated tuna with olive vinaigrette. He doesn't have any complaints yet. 
Let's see his budget. $102. He's expecting three and a half stars. He fucking left. Oh my god. This is terrible. I got 11% seek ox. Uh, Why is everybody leaving? Uh, I guess my food's too high. <laughs> Let's bring down the price just a little bit. Cheap ass people. I'm not a cheap restaurant. I'm not fucking McDonald's. Fuck is wrong with you people. My dry bean casserole might be a little bit too expensive. I got it now. Red wine. Get fucking drunk. <sighs> and spend a lot of money. Strawberries Jubilee. Charge two dollars for the mineral water. Okay now. Now are you satisfied? Ugh. God damn, fucking cheap people. Ew. What the fuck? Get back here. Oh my god, my leg is asleep. Why is this customer still standing here? Somebody needs to do their goddamn job. What is happening? Do your fucking job. Oh my god. I think I have closed the restaurant. <laughs> Oh god, material panel. Let's take out these stupid fucking plants. Uh -huh. That's what it was. It was the plants. It was the plants! My plants! 44% uh, occupancy. What's everybody saying? Doreen. Doreen says, he's having lunch. She has a two star quality expectation. She's going to spend $102. She's ordering cream of asparagus soup and mixed casserole of pork. Favorite food is fisherman soup. Receptionist as Nina Duran is in Palais. Server Hugo Messier is in Palais. Hugo's about to get fired. He's about to get fucking fired right now. Cause this guy is spending $30 in here and he's being rude to him. Hetty Thomas is in flight. Oh my god, this lady is spending $44. Mina and Hugo. Yeah. Why is the mixed casserole of pork so expensive? Well, don't fucking order it. Why would you order it if it's too expensive? Dumbass. Okay, so I'm about to get rid of this asshole right here. Get the fuck out of my restaurant. Jessica Kyle, uh, 
Pierre Lagarde. Let's do Alain Dupont. Alain Dupont. And who else was it? Hetty? Hetty was a bitch. Bitch, get the fuck out of my restaurant. Okay, so I need a new receptionist now. We'll take Marie Real. Okay. And now let's see what's going on. What did my customers say? I got 100% seat occupancy? Fuck yeah! Why is the poached salmon with truffles and shrimp so expensive? Because it's not McDonald's, bitch! Asmina Durand is impolite. I got rid of her. What are you talking about? Hey Thomas. Lucille. They want quality food for cheap. Why the fuck are you sitting at a family table by yourself? Why has he got money over his head? money am I making right now? My seat occupancy is a hundred percent. I've gotta be fucking bankrolling. I made seven hundred and ninety one fucking dollars. <laughs> Got to be kidding me. Why did I lose money? My target is 30,000 a month. I've been playing for 51 minutes. Total score is 73. What the, what's this? Lack of seating forces customers to dine elsewhere. Well, I don't have any room. I got a small restaurant. What do you expect? Fine, I'll try to add another table. Um, I don't. Come on, come on, activate again. Come on, move. Oh my god. Oh my god, why? Can you not stand right here? God. Uh -huh. Alright, so... Maybe I can fit another table over here. Mm. 
No? How do I use the upstairs? I guess there is no upstairs. Can I have outside seating? No. noise here bothers me. I like to eat in relatively peace and quiet. Ellen DuPont is impolite. Oh my god. You're not even spinning enough for me to even care about what you say. How am I doing now? Yes! Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and close this restaurant for the day. I got two, uh, one and a half stars on food. This sucks. I got two and a half stars on service, two and a half stars on assignments. Um, kind of expensive, 10% complaints, uh, three on decoration, yes, three and a half stars on comfort, yes, one and a half stars on exterior and view. So we got to work on that next time. Um, the only complaints really is my food's too expensive and... That Hetty Thomas needs to be fucking fired. <laughs> so we will be back next time. What's to say? There have been a number of complaints about your tablet. Maybe you should look into these complaints and address them before the situation escalates out of control. What the fuck is somebody gonna do? Burn my restaurant down? Ugh, got insurance. Anyways. So, I hope you liked this game, and um, and I hope that my recording equipment is working right, <laughs> because it's been driving me nuts. So let's close down, and uh, we will be back with more of Restaurant Story.